In this Excel video, I'm going to show you three different ways to auto fit all the columns and rows in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. So here we have a spreadsheet and you can see that the column widths vary wildly. Some of them are too wide, some of them are too narrow, and it's starting to become a problem. I can't see the data that I need to see. Some of the data is showing up as hashtags because it can't fit the data within the space provided. It just looks terrible. So let's look at these three different ways of fixing this and making it look better. One method would be to click and drag on the column letters. So A through O in this case, and then just double click between any two column letters. I'm going to choose K and L. And I'll just double click and then very quickly all of the columns are perfectly auto fit to the exact width necessary to show all the data that's in those columns. I could do the same thing with the row numbers. So click and drag to select all the row numbers and then double click between any two and now the columns are perfectly auto fit. I'm going to undo both of those changes by holding control and tapping Z twice because that's method one. There's another method that I think is a little faster and it's a little better because it keeps your hands on the keyboard. First, what you would do is hold Control and tap A. That will select the entire spreadsheet. Then hold the Alt key and tap HOI. And it has to be in that specific order. You don't have to hold HOI. Just tap the letter H, then the letter O, then the letter I while still holding the Alt key and that will perfectly auto fit the columns. Next, we can auto fit the rows by holding Alt again, but this time tapping HOA. Now we have the columns and the rows perfectly auto fit. I'm going to hold Control and tap Z twice to undo those changes, and let's look at the third method that we can use to auto fit rows and columns. Now for this third method, you do have to use the mouse. You have to take your hands off the keyboard to use the mouse. And step one is to hold control and tap A to select the whole spreadsheet. Then go to the home tab, home ribbon in the cells group, click on format, and then choose auto fit column width. And that worked beautifully. Now I'm gonna go back to format, but this time I'll choose auto fit row height. And now I've got a perfectly auto fit spreadsheet. So those are three methods for auto fitting all the columns and rows in your spreadsheet. Which one do you prefer? If you want to leave a comment below this video, let me know which of the three you think you're gonna use the most and maybe tell me why that is. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, there are a couple of ways you could do that. First, you could click the thanks button below the video and make a one-time donation. Also, you could support me through my Patreon account if you're willing to do recurring donations. Another way to support the channel is by buying channel merch. You can buy mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, stuff like that with channel artwork on them. All three of these methods really do support the channel and so does sharing these videos with your friends, liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that really goes a long way to supporting this channel so that I can continue dedicating the time in the evenings and weekends to create these videos. Thank you so much. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it, and I'm very grateful to you.